guys, so this is uh, just a quick video um, to go over uh, just ways to, or a way that um, I, I use to produce my own uh, water slide decals, either as a replacement for the ones that come uh, with, with a model, um, or just uh, as an emergency <laughs> backup. Um, I'll use that as a, a one I just recently completed um, an example of where that uh, came in handy um yeah so you there's lots of different you know a lot of different uh, ways that this can be done i'm just showing you a way that i use and that's uh, pretty pretty successful so um for what it's worth uh, i'll just show you some of the materials and and the methods that uh, that have been successful so to start with um one of the first things that i do uh whenever i get uh, any a new model um, is to uh, take a scan of the uh, of whatever decals come with it. So in this case, I'm just using as an example. Uh, this is a um, a Star Trek uh, Polar Lights model uh, from a, a Klingon battlecruiser, and uh, you can see that it came with water slides and decals or stickers, um, and uh, and I actually scanned them both in um, again uh, just to get. Uh, images in case you just don't know you'd want to get uh, and, and I'd use a pretty high quality um, uh, in most cases I would be using 9600 DPI you, you could go a little lower even or 1200 DPI or even 600 probably depending on your printer but I always tend to you know storage is not that expensive and um, so I do like to go a little higher 1200 minimum I think that's what I did on this one um, and uh, is, is a pretty good number because you can always kind of shrink uh, as required but it's uh, impossible to gain resolution if for some reason you want to zoom up or do something um, you, you won't be able to do that uh, if you don't scan in uh, at, a, at a pretty high DPI. So that's what I do first off um, and uh, I'm going to show just a I think a, a clip from uh, have an Epson scanner that I use and just show you some of the settings that I use there you can see really it's just uh, a matter of making sure you're using sort of the photo mode uh, the DPI I talked about and you'll have some kind of preview ability um, to specify the size and you can see here in this particular software where it's kind of uh, sees the size of the scan um, in inches and that's going to vary depending on the, the decal sheet you're doing. It's going to be bigger or smaller. This is a pretty small, small little sheet. And then I did the same thing uh, for the uh, stickers, as I say, just to get it. Now, you know, it's got a kind of a yellow background. Uh, that's so that you can see the white. Uh, there is a lot of white text. Um, and it's really difficult to see. You can see, actually, the right lighting. If I can show you that, you can see the reflection there. Anyway. Um, there's a lot of white, and you can see it against the yellow, and so that's very typical. Um, you know, when you want to be able to, to see white, you're going to have to have a different color background. It's unusual that they didn't do that on the water slides. Um, it, it's just white background as well, so it makes it very, very tricky. Anyway, uh, once you've got that, then the really the, the big thing then uh, is to um, have uh, the some decal uh, paper, um, and actually that's uh, this so uh, it's one there are lots available this is one I've had um, it's really good success with actually this is my my kind of favorite favorite brand um, it is the laser version that's what I used uh, in this particular case that's what I'm just showing you I do have the inkjet version as well you know so it's uh, clear um, and uh, that printed out to this um, and uh, and so one of the things that you'll note, uh, actually I have two, two versions of it actually. Um, you'll notice when I first printed it, um, it was this one. And you can actually see really carefully that it's not pure white. Um, if you look, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's just slightly it's not. It wasn't perfect white background. I thought that it was, but then when I printed, it, it, it isn't. It's just off. And we need it to be pitch white because if that, that color is going to come through and you're going to see that uh, on the model and it's uh, you're, you've already got a lot working against you using a water slide in terms of having the the, the carrier uh, not being uh, visible uh, and so the last thing you need is for it to actually be have a color pigment uh, in in the carrier film so that's no good so I did go back in and actually edit 
the JPEG that I'd scanned and got rid of, you know, kind of did a sort of a mass fill where it would, uh, Paint Shop Pro lets you kind of pick and fill based on a, on a sort of a, a graduation tolerance. And so I could get it all to be white um, background. And so, um, and then I reprinted and now you can see it came out um, perfect. There is no, no difference in color, which is really what we need. You'll also notice then um, that uh, one of the things that I do is uh, then uh, spray it to 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 protect the uh, the sort of in this case it's toner uh, ink from the inkjet or from the uh, uh, laser printer. So it's a sort of laser toner cartridge there um, that's uh, that you need to protect that. If you were to just not and cut out the decal and put water on it, it's it's going to just uh, uh, melt melt that and uh, come off. Um, because it's not going to be protected from the water. Uh, so you do have to do that. And you can actually see, um, if you look kind of at the reflection, you can see where I've spray painted it. Uh, there's no reflection. It's really dull um, in this area. Uh, and that's what you want. You, you really do want to get it so that it's not, um, you know, it's pretty flat. Uh, the solution I use is um, micro scale um, liquid decal film. Uh, does talks about using it for making custom decals that's certainly what we're doing here you could have also sprayed it on top but that's probably what i should have done um on this particular model i had bought it uh, it's quite an old model and and i had i'd known that uh, it was from cult tvman.com and and they'd even mentioned that that it's old and that there was no guarantees about the decals sure enough um they they were old um, and uh, so what I probably should have done, I should have kind of remembered that and taken it more to, to heart and, and, and sprayed. I could have just sprayed directly on this and probably saved myself a lot of headaches um, and uh, put a couple of coats on there. Um, but I didn't. And uh, so anyway, uh, so I ended up having to make a custom deco with it, which works fine too. Uh, it is a kind of a thicker solution, this particular one. Uh, and so you'll want to... Um, I use a... My uh, airbrush is an Iwata um, Eclipse, and uh, and I've got a, a 0 .4, uh, 0 .4 millimeter uh, needle in there, uh, and I spray it at about uh, I spray at 20 psi. So my particular compressor that means I actually have to set it a little bit high because it it's, it actually uh, sprays a little lower than what the the resting uh, psi is at. But I need it to spray at 20, and I have good success. Uh, one. Other note about the um, microscale uh, liquid decal film. Um, if you are spraying this um, in your airbrush, make sure um, that you really clean it well uh, after it, um, with uh, alcohol. So and uh, make sure you run it through several times and fairly quickly after it really does um, kind of dry up in there really fast. I use uh, ninety-one percent. I don't know. You could probably use a little less. This one works well for me. Um, probably anything 70 and above uh, will probably do the trick. I'll run it through several times uh, in the gun. And then also, uh, in my, my case, uh, remove the, the needle and also clean that needle a couple of times. And uh, one, one note, when you are, um, when you are going to print out, uh, when you're going to print out the file onto the, um, the decal paper, uh, you'll want to use software that allows you to be able to um, to print in the actual DPI. So it's going to sort of read and use the um, resolution information that's in contained in the file. Um, I know when I uh, and again this can depend on your software you're using. As I say, I do use um, the uh, Epson. Uh, Epson scanning software it lets me pick DPI and the size of that file, um, the actual physical size in inches or, or whatever um, unit that you want to use. Uh, very, very important um, that that's there. And then I use, uh, I, you can't really use like built in paint or any, really any of the built in um, sort of uh, paint programs uh, they they typically don't allow you to do that at least not, not that I know of um, I do use a paint shop pro uh, that that uh, does in fact allow you when you when you choose the print option there um, 
you are it will uh, print correctly it'll print in the size uh, and the and the sort of dot uh, resolution that the file uh, was saved in and that's that's really important obviously to get the decals to be the right size um, so you'll want to watch for that uh, I'm sure there's other software as well um, that, that can do that but uh, um, you know PaintShop uh, Pro is certainly uh, guaranteed to be able to do it because I've, I've done that uh, uh, obviously in the past um, I put on uh, generally three or four coats um, uh, and usually uh, do a first coat fairly methodical like a fairly slow back and forth coat and then I'll let that sit and usually actually maybe even just dry it uh, with just an error and then uh, do a similar methodical coat up and down dry it again and then typically do kind of a diagonal coat um, and then and dry that and then sometimes depending on how it's kind of looking I might do a fourth coat uh, and that's uh, either on the opposite diagonal or just uh, back and forth again um, and a little little lighter a little higher up um, because I wanted a little that last coat to be a little drier typically uh, to try to just get it as matte as I can get it um, that's just helpful for making sure it doesn't have a shine um, I mean we're gonna use some solutions on it anyway but that doesn't in my experience uh, if you can get that as matte as possible it's helpful so yeah that's um, in my experience so uh, so that's the process for for creating um, creating the the decal sheet um, I needed to do it in this case because um, this these decals were old and uh, and a couple of the decals here's an example of one of them uh, when I cut them out uh, I went to just apply the water and they just disintegrated uh, you can see this one didn't even make it off the the decal sheet uh, before it had been just coming apart and it was and then they were just so fine I'd even lost pieces I think in the brush and I mean it was just a mess uh, and that was after very little so that's a pretty good indicator that you've got decals that have issues and sure enough I had issues with every one of these um, decals that you see cut out here uh, uh, really almost all of them had to be uh, sanded off or just uh, taken off and, and replaced uh, or, or took a ton of work um, because they they just came apart so many times and then I didn't wasn't happy with the end result so I had to, to sand them off um, and that's where I ended up um, that's where you know on, on some of those cases where I had to uh, to use my my own sheet um, so yeah uh, and um, let me just show you what that uh, ended up looking like yeah, so this is the model um, in its uh, completed state here and um, so you can see um, a lot of these are my are the uh, from the uh, the decals you've just seen my own uh, including these ones um, are all from my own uh, water slide versions of the decals so they they came out looking really really great um, these ones this is the one to replace this guy um, and uh, so that's the, the the printed version and all the treatment that I just described uh, done on this particular one so you can see in exact uh, the results you'll notice one of the other things though that's for the Klingon logo um, which you see there uh, the but you'll notice that there's actually a, a, a ship name there in white and um, as you'll notice and as I mentioned already uh, the decal that I've got is clear not not white and so it's not possible to actually print white unless you've got a very specialized printer um, most uh, laser gent and ink jet printers don't don't have a white cartridge or don't have an ability to print white so that's a problem in this particular decal um, and so what I had to do in that case and in any time when you have uh, white uh, as required they have a version of um, of um, the paper the decal paper that you use and in this case you'll notice that it's a white um, decal film and so that's really important because it lets you be able to do that and and this is where it came in very handy uh, for me to have scanned in the uh, scanned in the sticker set because if you recall that actually had a yellow background and so I could see the white as you recall here and so when I printed that on the um, on the white film, uh, my white deco paper, you can see now I'm getting uh, I can nicely see the white um, 
the pieces there and you'll notice uh, that I cut out the name there uh, because I don't want the background because it's yellow <laughs> so I literally had to cut out each letter and that's uh, so these are all been uh, actually very carefully cut out uh, within a steady hand exacto knife um, and really just look like uh, well, I'll show you a couple of them so the example so here's the first couple little pieces here these are just the backing uh, where it you know eventually took the, took the etc you can see anyway that uh, these are the little deco pieces to, to get the name and uh, and so I just slid the white off and, uh, and just laid it in there kind of manually like that and um, yeah came out came out great um, it's a lot of work because you really have to cut that you know it's some pretty fine um, some pretty fine cutting there to to get those, but that just takes a bit of time and um, and, and careful attention. Uh, the results are, are fantastic. It uh, really looks great, um, almost almost better than the original decal uh, looked. I'd say uh, it's really matte, which I uh, really like. Um, so it came in nice and flat. I did use um, the micro scale. Uh, obviously, micro set and micro solve is perfectly safe, uh, assuming that you've got a good uh, you know, good, good coat of the the, the um, liquid deco film on there. Uh, there's no risk, um, and and you can. This helps, uh, especially the uh, micro solution, obviously, to really um, mat down um, the the sort of the the background, especially on this color one. As you know, um, that one I did have to also cut out, but it had carrier. <laughs> you could definitely see carrier, whereas now there's no, um, that's not visible, so that came out great. These didn't have carrier, but still, uh, they, you know, I wanted the mat and not, um, so that was a pretty, pretty good success. And uh, so it really does give you that option um, to be able to, um, in an emergency especially, uh, you know, I had all these decals destroyed, and so I had to I, I had to be able to print these and um, and uh, apply them. Otherwise, I, I would not have had all my windows on the front, which would have been a big problem. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, if you are in a similar circumstance or ever need to, um, or you could even do custom. I mean, some people I know uh, want to put different different logos on, you know, if they're really into kit bashing and that kind of thing. You know, obviously you could use any image um, and uh, just uh, put your, your decal film on there and apply it. Um, on, on any model so it, it really opens up the doors in terms of um, the possibilities for for applying uh, for applying decals hope that helped um, and uh, if so uh, certainly leave a comment and, and maybe like uh, that that would be great